Merry Christmas. We're back looking at easy designs that you can do with supermarket flowers for Christmas. And in this one, we're going to look at a lower bowl, as you can see, just one of those salad bowls that you have at the back of the cupboard that you never seem to use. And so this is a good chance for you to bring it out and put it on display. And because the glass and the water work so well together, you get a little bit of a bling, like the earrings, blingy Christmas earrings. I love Christmas time because they can get to be really blingy. And what we've got in here, I've already put the water in, obviously. We've just got some Christmas baubles with the caps taken off. If you wanted to have those so that they weren't moving around so much, you could wipe them down with a little bit of sand or dirt and that would hold them in place. But I'm quite happy to have them moving around a little bit until we start to get the plant material in. Rather than use what might traditionally you might have come across as floral foam, the green stuff, uh, we're tending to move more towards a bit of sustainability. So I don't use foam, I use wire or I use other old methods that uh, were, have been around for ages and ages to incorporate those techniques into the design so that they're reusable. So this is simply um, anodized aluminium wire. It's very soft, it's very pliable. These are all off cuts of things that I've made that, that I just had little bits left. And so you just squash it up as much as you can into link it. And that will, when we put the stems in there, that will help them to stay in place so that we've got a nice mass of color. What we want to do today with this one, because it's a low bowl, it might be on your table, you don't want anything too high because you don't want to have to, people to have to be talking around or in between the flowers or not be able to see anyone on the other side of the table. So we're going to keep this nice and low. And what we've got is four stems of chrysanthemums from the supermarket. Now these are ones that I used in a previous design where I used the full or almost the full length of the stems. This time we're going to cut them down and, and have them just above the, the height of the bowl. But we're going to repeat the bling in the design because you need a little bit of repetition of colour and of forms and shapes and things so that it looks like a comfortable design. It's not a hard design to do, as you can see. Need a bowl, need some Christmas baubles, a bit of wire if you've got it. If not, it doesn't matter. Fill the bowl with the baubles so that the water that you access for the flowers you can put it in between the baubles and that baubles will hold them in place. You can have a nice pile of them. If you have the bottom ones weighted then it's not going to move. You could also, if you wanted to do a pile of them, you could actually use the baubles themselves as the water source because they're made of plastic or like ping pong balls and just coloured. If you cut that collar off it gives you a nice little size of hole. Put some water in, it will sit there and you can then put your stems into that. And we're going to see that in some of the other designs that I've done. I'm doing for you in this series. I've done them before, but I'm doing them for a special series as well. So let's get started. What I also have cut from the garden is a few succulents just to give it some greenery as well, just to give it a little bit of a base. So I might put those in first and then we'll add the flowers and you'll just see how simple, easy, quick it is to do. So these are just some succulents from the garden. Obviously, if they're sitting in water for any length of time, they're going to start root, showing some roots. And so you can go out and plant them or give them away as presents. So they don't necessarily need water, but if they are in water, then they will start to shoot after a little bit of time. Once again, we are looking at height of things. And remember that because it's a glass bowl, you can see through it. So we don't want it to look too untidy on the inside. Now what I'm doing with those ones is just pushing them through the different areas of the wire so that they're actually held in position where I want them to be. So as with succulents, as with any, um, plant material, you need to clean off the stems so that none of the foliage is underwater because that will that's what creates the smell and the, the cloudy water is the bacteria on the leaves or on the, the foliage will start to react with the water and so we want to avoid that at all costs. So 
So let's, so, move these out of the way so you can see. So that's just where we are. It's just basically just putting them into place so that you've got a little bit of a framework and you can still see the ball balls and we'll, we'll just put the, the flowers in and around it and it will be spectacular. So we're going to cut these off. The, the beauty of these floribunda or multi-flowered stems is that you get more bang for your buck, basically. And just hold on to that one and see if we need it. Once again, pushing it through the wire so that it holds in place. And what we're going to do with this is just make a mass, but not a mass all on one level. We're going to have it in different levels so that it's interesting from any angle. So we might take this here. And the beauty of that is that if you get something from the supermarket and there's a few, like this bunch, there's a few that have seen better days, they're a bit tired, Christmas spirit has got to them already, then you can trim them off and make them really quite short. So we could have these ones cut it just an inch from the top and just have them sitting right at the edge. And so that gives you interest from through the bars, as, through the glass I should say, as well as the basing that design so that it looks like it's much fuller of plant material. And remember we're only using four stems. Four stems came in the bunch that I'm using and that's all I'm using. We want a little bit of a be able to have a hint of seeing those balls in there. We don't want to cover them up completely. So we're going to put some extras in to give it a little bit more height. So now we've only used two so far because that's only two stems so far and not even all of the two stems. And you can see how full that looks already. So if we had a little bit more greenery, that might be enough. You might get away with doing a couple of table sanders out of one supermarket bunch of flowers. That would be good. As much as we love flowers, they're very expensive at the moment. So let's see how we can get some value. Now these ones we're going to push right down in the centre so that you won't necessarily see them, but you'll see the hint of the colour that's there when you're looking through the design. And that's what makes it interesting. If we can go in and out of a design, it makes it more interesting. It makes it look like it's, it's special. It's not just throw them in the vase and hope for the best. So now what I'll look at before I put this one in is where do I want, so what I'd like to do is fill this gap. Put those down so you can see. Fill this gap here, but I want it quite low because I want, as I keep saying, I want to be able to see through the design. So. I might put them quite low there, and then I've got another gap here where I can put some filler in if I feel it's necessary after this one, this placement is done. So that's going to have to be much lower, much smaller. Probably still a bit high, but it does it does make you flow through that area there. And this one we can tuck in here. Okay. Here we go. So I have to lose the bit of So you can see we've still got a spot where it would be nice to have some flowers, but we're not looking at the perfect shape. We're looking at it being interesting is what we want. So before I put the last lot of flowers in, I'm actually going to put in a couple more baubles because I want the height of these and I want to carry through, through that what we've got in the baubles in the base. I want people to be able to look through and see that's what we might need. So, and it makes it more Christmassy as well, doesn't it? So we'll have one there because what we're seeing is we've got that. Where's the back? 
here and there, so it's bringing us back around the end of his arm. We might have one through there. Now these, I haven't told you about these. <laughs> Just the, the ball cap, the hanging cap taken off and then I've put hot glue into the, 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 the collar and then just pushed in a food skewer, whatever you call them, kebab skewers, bamboo skewers, whatever they are to you. That's what they are, satay sticks, I think some people call them as well. And they come in different lengths. I've used the full size ones so that I can cut them down and move them around. Just a tip when you're using hot glue, I'm looking through my floral art figures. When you are using hot glue, whether it's for craft or for these types of activities, I highly recommend a product called Floral Art Fingers. And that's what they are, silicon fingertips. Just put them on whatever fingers work for you in terms of how you, you push things together. This works for me because that's how I do it. But some, some people will use the, all the five fingers. They are available on the website and they come in a little bag, so you always can find them. And the pack has five in it, so it actually has a size for every finger of your hand, and I think there's 10 packs there as well. But I think the five pack to start with, just to get used to using them, not hard to use, but it, I think for everyone, if you've got something on your fingers it just doesn't feel right, these feel good because they're nice and tight and fit well. The beauty of them with the hot glue is that I can put the hot glue on there, put the stick in and then I can hold it and it's not going to burn me, it's not going to burn my fingers, not going to leave a mark and it just peels off the silicon and it works just as well with the florist glue. So if any florists are watching, florist glue peels off, it's just a, a breeze, a dream. So we'll put this one in. I might cut it down just a little bit. just using three stems. I will add this last stem, but you can see that you would just get away with so few flowers, do something interesting, add a little bit of your own touch to it with things from your garden or the um, baubles or other sort of, you know, you might have some traditional Christmas keepsakes that you would like to feature in a different way rather than just have them on the tree and hope that people will see them. Wouldn't it be nice to incorporate those into a design that's on the table where people can look at them and say, oh, I remember when you got that particular decoration or I remember um, who made that for you. So let's just fill in a couple of those gaps. And there's not many. Um, you know, I'm quite happy to leave some of those gaps that, so you can see through the design. And I quite like the asymmetrical shape to it. It's a bit like my new hairdo. For those of you who've been watching for a while, this is the new hairdo, the asymmetric look. I'm very happy with it. I've had it for about a week now and it's, it's really settled in well and I'm, I'm very happy with it. I don't say that it will last 20 years like the last one did, but I'm happy with it at the moment. So let's just see. What I'm going to actually do is just cut some of these individual ones and see if that fills it enough because I've got a feeling for me that that, that the bulk of that is just going to be too much in the design. It's just going to take away from the, the lightness, the airiness and the interest that I can see through it. So if I can just use some of these individual ones to fill some of the gaps, I'll be happy with it. That's what we want. You all want me to be happy with this design, don't you? You can leave me a comment and tell me if you're happy with this design. Many of you do. And I enjoy reading those. I enjoy reading your suggestions of what could have been done as well, so you can do that too, or what you're going to do. And you can send me the images of what you've actually done. That'd be great. And we could share those with everyone so they can see what can be done with just a bunch of supermarket flowers. Or handy to have a bin just at my feet. 
Just drop things in. So there we go. There's our design today using, in fact, three and a bit stems of chrysanthemums from the supermarket. Lovely colours, nice and bright for the table. A nice bowl that people can look at and remember. You can see, if you're sitting at this sort of level, you'll be able to see through the design, see the balls that we put in the base to start with. A little bit of that coloured wire that doesn't detract from it either. We've, got, we've carried the balls through the design and we've just placed those ones so that there's interest in and out is what we talk. So some in, some out, so that you look through the design and you can see what is there and it's interesting and you can talk about it and we've used lots of single short stems as well so that if you get hit with a, a storm or there's just not much in the garden that's got any sort of length to it this is a great way of using those flowers up and showcasing what you've done apart from cooking everyone lunch or dinner that you've actually grown the flowers or you've ducked down to the supermarket and put this design together and you can enjoy it and enjoy the rewards of your activity. So there you have it, our low bowl table centre for Christmas using three and a bit stems from our supermarket flower bunch. I'm Kim Bailey and this is Floral Line Online.